Ndewo, kia kime. Ahambi joma akubwe. Ene wa dragi nkuzibo. So, sorry na bera mlite. Eh, Nisi nanga ya bebe tof. Mara, on eight minutes late. So, ihe mcho rikuta. Ihe genere gaka isu ibo. So, five steps that you need to take if you're ready to speak ibo. Okay? So, if you're thinking about, not thinking, if you're ready to speak ibo this year, Okay, you have to make a plan. That's what I'm here to talk about. They have, you have to make a plan. And I have the five steps that I take my clients through when they are ready to speak able. Okay, and I'm going to share those five steps with you right now. Okay, it's things you need to do. Because Igbo speaking is like any other goal. You need to take action, make a plan. Okay, for it to come to pass. You don't take it lightly. You make a plan just like you make a business plan or study plan for any other thing that you're studying. Okay, so let's start. The first step and I will normally take my clients through is to get clear on why they are learning Igbo. Okay, you have to get clear on why you're learning Igbo. You have to get your own reason. Okay, not somebody's reason, your reason. Why are you learning to speak Igbo? Why? Okay, so the things I hear my clients say are things like, oh, I want to embrace who I am. Okay, I want to connect with my family. I want to teach my children Igbo. So those are the kinds of reasons I hear. What is your why for speaking Igbo? I would like you to share in the comments. Why are you learning to speak Igbo? Because it has to be a very solid why so that you don't stop by the wayside. Okay. And once you identify your why, the next thing you need to do is write it down. Okay. Not just in your head. Write it down. When you've written something down, it's quite powerful. Okay. You write your why down somewhere you can see it, preferably every day or at least every week. Okay, so that's the first step we would normally go through. Make sure, and while I'm asking them why, I would normally say, why now? Why is it now? Why not 2021? Why not 2025? Why do you have to learn it now? Okay, because again, that has been strong. If there's no strong reason for you to do it now, you'll find that you start, and after like a few weeks, you lose your uh, focus and then you stop. But you need to know why now. And when I ask them why now, I get things like, oh, I'm not getting any younger or I'm finally ready to speak it and I don't care if people laugh at me or not. Okay, so you have to have a strong reason. Why now? Okay, I guess we, maybe I'm finally ready or I have made time in my schedule. Um, I don't have as much as I used to have on my schedule so I can do it now. Or I've got children now and I'm ready to teach them. So what is your why and what is your why now? Why now? Okay, not tomorrow. Okay. So the next step I will then take them to, which is the second step, is to get clear on the goals. So now that we've established why you're learning to speak Igbo, we want to make concrete goals so that we can reflect as we go along, okay? So the goals are usually conversation goals because that's what we can check. So you can write conversation. I will normally say make a list of at least 10 topics. We may not get to the 10 topics, but I will normally say make a list of 10 topics in order of priority. So you might write things like greetings, introduction, family, cooking, eating, travel, politics, news, marriage, death, things like that. Okay, so you write what is important to you, sports, entertainment, or whatever. So you write your goals. And then uh, when we actually start the sessions, I will normally start uh, teaching and coaching from their uh, topics, from what they have indicated as their priority. That's where we we'll normally start. So this is the second step. You need to actually write it down. What conversation topics? Because there's a million and one topics. So we want to start somewhere so you don't get confused. And so that by the end of 12 weeks, which is what normally what my programs run at, we can look back and see, have we achieved our goal? Okay. So the goal is not to get fluent in 12 weeks because that is very hard to do unless you're nearly, nearly fluent. But the goal is to get somewhere. Okay. And we need to outline where we're going so that at the end we can check are we there? Okay, so write your speaking goals, conversation goals. That's the number two step. Number three step is then to actually take action and start speaking. Okay, so when you've made a plan, you need to act, start acting on the plan. And how we act on the plan is we have weekly sessions when they come on live and we practice our speaking. And when we are not live, they are going through their video lessons or written materials or just learning in other ways, like watching movies, listening to podcasts, listening to emo music, okay? So we're actually acting on those goals, okay? And when they come again, uh, back to the live sessions, we'll practice our speaking. 
Okay, so that is number three step, actually speaking Igbo. The number four step I would normally take them through is to reflect on what we have done. So usually midway, so this program is for 12 weeks, the Igbo Speakers Bootcamp, where I teach people in a group of three. Okay, so program is for 12 weeks. So usually about four weeks in, we will have a look at what we've done. Where are we? Are we where we want to be in four weeks? If not, what can we do? What can we tweak to make it happen? Okay, do we need to do a different kind of challenge, a different kind of homework? Do we need to change? Because sometimes you just need to switch up your study um, style. Maybe if you've been focusing on lessons and structure, maybe it's time to focus on things like movies and music, just to switch it up so you don't get bored or so you don't fall off the wayside. So we normally reflect and see what are we doing right? What can we do better? And then we carry on with the other steps, the speaking. Okay, and then the, this brings me to the final step, which is the fifth step, because at the end of 12 weeks, it doesn't stop there, you need to carry on speaking. So we will normally create a plan for you to continue speaking after the bootcamp. Okay, and this plan, we usually, depending on when you join the bootcamp, if you join the bootcamp early, this plan will usually involve me as well. I will normally support you for a period of time, even after the bootcamp. Okay. And they will create a plan for you so you continue speaking with your family um, you have access to resources um, and i have like a special facebook group for the people that are my clients where you can ask questions anytime and get help even if you're not getting it from me you're getting it from other people that have teached i have taught already okay so the five steps again that i take my clients through to get them to speak able number one you need to really be clear on why you're learning able and why now number two you need to be clear on your goals, the conversation topics, okay? Number three, then you actually start speaking. Number four, we reflect on our goals every now and again, at least twice during the bootcamp to see what are we doing, okay? And number five, number five is we make a plan for you to continue speaking so that you don't forget what you have learned, right? So if this sounds like something you would like to do, if you want my support to help you to become a confident, Igbo speaker, the bootcamp is registration is currently on. Okay, you can come on a call. Let's talk and make sure it's the right fit for you because it's not for everybody. Okay, and if it's for you, great, awesome. Okay, so you can join because we start very soon. The registration is in January and it's closing in January because the actual bootcamp starts in February. So if this is something you want to do, you need to get on the call with me and let's talk. Do not put it off. Do not procrastinate. We are, <laughs> January is already flying past. So if you've made your goal to speak in 2020, don't, don't wait. Okay. Get on the call. It's a free call and we'll decide if it's for you or not. If not, we'll explore other options that you have because there are so many ways you can do it on your own. Of course, you can do it on your own. You can use YouTube. You can go to Amazon and buy books. Uh, you can um, recruit a friend or family member to help you. There are different ways. And if that is the route that you want to go awesome, that's great. Just make sure you're doing it and get somebody to keep you accountable every week to make sure that you're doing it. However, if you want extra support from a coach, get on the call. Let's see if my bootcamp is um, a great fit for you. Okay, I'm going to